roughly two and a half to three uh, plane weights. So in, in, in the terms of the reserves, they're just balancing it out. Um, the midway, I can't tell you the exact numbers because I'm on the NDA, but the midway still retains its two fighter plane weights, which means it has 14 planes in the air compared to the Hakuryu's 10. And it still has slightly more planes than the Hakuryu. The Hakuryu's got 25 and the midway has slightly more than that. So that hasn't changed, unless they change these things and until it goes to PTS, I don't think anything I say is final. But in the current iteration, it has more planes. So even though it's lost a full wave of fighter planes, it's still, uh, at, you know, better at air control. It's just, um, as the Hakuryu, you don't have to beat him three and a half times, you have to beat him two and a half, three times, that type of stuff. So that that's interesting. The real problem is the tier 10 dive bombers don't honestly feel like they do particularly much. They don't seem like the main damage source because if you use AP, there's nothing really for you to kill. Uh, because, you know, the AP bombs and the American uh, carriers don't do anything to battleships. And the, um... The, the, the HE is good on larger targets, and, and typically, I guess, a tier 10 battleship, the HE does is as much alpha damage as the AP bombs do, except you get the extra factor of fires, right? Plus, your HE bombs can now somewhat inconvenience destroyers if you get better RNG, which... But the real, the real damage comes from the torpedo bombers, and therein lies the catch. The torpedo bomber reserves are down the whole wave, at least. And that means you don't get as many strikes in, because when you attack something that's got high AA, you, you pretty much lose all 12 of those torpedo bombers. So you're only going to get two, maybe three, depending if some survive, uh, full plane waves of torpedo bombers. Uh, and that's the issue, because they're not going to change the tier. They're not going to push the, the... The fires can stay at tier 9, but the, the tier 8 torpedo bombers it would be nice if they were moved up to tier 9. Uh, to make them a little bit tankier, a little bit faster, but that's not going to happen. I don't think he's paying attention. Oh crap, that's an Enterprise, and that was a bad strike. That was a really long, slow... Yeah, I need to get out of here. Oh, really? Oh, I got Cleveland. If he stressed me, that's the best thing he could do. Which he doesn't. Right, so Cleveland's right there. Always try and go around it. He's done it as well. Oh, he's trying to go for the island. See, I want to reverse drop him, right? But I'm thinking to give him a, like a much, much bigger leeway. There we go. See, now it turns around the stats. I might actually hit him there. I'll recycle the fire while I'm at it. Yeah, that's pretty good. US AP bombs murder Moskvas. Yeah, th th this is the thing though. The AP bombs are good against the AA cruisers. Baltimore, Des Moines, Moskvas. All right, yeah, but that's still an AA cruiser. It's still a dangerous thing to go after. You don't go after that unless you have to. Um, and I don't, want, I don't want it to be like that. I don't. Want, <laughs> you, you remember the guy in King of the Sea who? Um, he brought a midway with AP bombs, and his intention was just to keep face panning into one of the isolated um, Des Moines, and he kept losing all these planes. <laughs> I can't stop these bombs because the fire planes are on recharge. Yeah, I believe it was an NA guy. See, the annoying thing is that in Tier 10 King of the Sea, the midweight is viable when the fire planes are Tier 10. When the fire planes are Tier 10, the Tier 10 222 midway can fight against a Hakuryu that runs 422. Just. It can just work in some niche elements. But, um... In competitive tier 10, now that the planes are tier 9, that means they have less health or not as tanky against enemy AA. They simply can't compete. They can't fight 
against that many Japanese fighters because the plane reserves are oh and now it's even worse because of the plane reserves that's also brutal because before even though you only had two waves you had roughly equal the same fighter reserves as the Hakuryu in its 4-2-2 in the in two two midway so both of these things will totally uh, knock the midway out of any form of uh, competitive contention um, unless the midway was to get some fighter setup but they're not going to go back and give it like a three I don't know, like a 3-1-2, because that would just be too much of a power creep. It's very difficult to do it in, in their current setup. Uh, and I think this Nizen is vulnerable, but the problem is I can't fight double Enterprise fighters with mine. I can maybe bait him or get him on a strafe when he's not paying attention. We'll see. He's taking the bait. I don't know if that's enough. I can't afford to take the losses, but we're going to have to punish this Naz now. If I go down two planes, I'm going to... sure I want to I've got five reserves which means I think I'm just gonna leave yeah the reason I exit strafed is I've got four planes left over with the five reserves I've got I can take one full I got one last full wave I can't trade one-on-one -on -one with enterprise fighters because he has way more reserves than I do so this way I have I still have a full wave that can do maximum strafe potential You know in King of the Sea that everyone runs their play, uh, their ship in AA setup because it's not about stopping bombers, it's about preventing sight. So if you've got maximum range AA that's super powerful and a plane flies into your AA bubble that you can then get sight, you use your AA, not defensive fire, you use your AA to kill off the plane. Unless it's like super important, you, you need to blind the enemy as quickly as possible, then you defensive fire, but it just means that you need to tell the CV so he can protect you in your downtime things. Do you think the graph set is enjoyable to play the way it is? Eh, I mean, it's the strike potential is very, very high. It's like playing Strike Lexington, but with a cross drop, because Lexington never had two torpedo bombers, so that way it's better. But you get the fire plane that can... It's like a token gesture in terms of air control, but it's powerful. It's like that glass, glass cannon with no reserves. So in that respect, I'm... I mean, obviously, I don't feel... It needs this many dive bombers. I think there's too many dive bombers in this plane. So if I, I was able to manipulate the input, I would change the uh, dive bombers down by about f at least three. Because at the moment, you get nine and seven. Um, you get nine and seven fighter plane waves. So I would like to have at least two more, two fewer dive bombers and two more fighter planes. And that way, I could um, have two fuel waves. Two full waves would be awesome. Uh, come on, kill off these fire planes. It's nine on two already. I don't want that coming in to mess with me. Oh, I lost the plane. You just should just strafe that. Oh my goodness. Uh, well, I'm gonna lose those planes, so which means I need to make something happen with these bombers. I mean, you'd think with this Fusto, I could. Yeah. I'm not going to have a full wave anymore, is, is, is what I'm getting at, though. Oh, is he going slower? Oh, the front ones didn't connect. That's pretty bummer. I still got him, though. Okay. So I'm down to... Six. Oh, we have a... Well, we're equal in chips at the moment. So I, I still need to do some work. Do you prefer 203 or 12 in regards to the fires only? Um, 
So the 203 fighter wise is pretty good because it's six planes in each wave, right? So six planes is it's, it's obviously more than five, which is the Shikakus, and with the dogfighting expert, it's pretty good because you can just left click. The plane reserves are the same at 24 and 24. Case in point that if you if you saw the 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 video I made where I reviewed the graph set one, it showed it. There was a sheet in there, Excel, a radar, um, a graph chart. So the the two zero three the Zeppelin's fighters are pretty powerful. They can, they can take. They obviously take on the Lexington. They easily beat uh, another Graf Zeppelin one two one. They're tied with obviously another two zero three Zeppelin. Uh, they take on the Shikaku. Um, they can't fight Shikaku that goes three one two, because that extra wave makes a big difference, and so do the reserves. And they have a harder time taking on uh, the Enterprise. And you can you can jostle with them because it's basically six on six and everyone's tier seven. The issue is, uh, what's your strike capability? Because you you only get dive bombers. And if you only get dive bombers, then you don't have you have eighteen compared to ten. So basically, you're getting eight extra dive bombs compared to the one to one, but no torpedo bombers whatsoever. So it's all RNG on how good your dive bombers will connect, uh, and that's sort of hmm, iffy. I'm waiting for the war spike to get into a position where he's not covered by the island, so I can drop him. Uh, yeah, but bizarrely. At tier 8, if you can guarantee tier 8 matchmaking, 18 dive bombers is enough with auto drops or good manual connections to one shot battleships. So it's better than the Enterprise at BB killing, except it, it has no ability to influence destroyers. However, it is possible that 203 could be viable in a in ranked, is what I'm trying to say. It's it can possibly do ranked. Because it's got really good secondaries, it can fight if it needs to. Yeah, as I was saying, it's got it's got really good secondaries, and uh, it means it, it doesn't need to worry about destroyers per se getting too close on it or being hunted down. And if it comes to like a late end game, because of the limited number of people, it can sort of kind of secondary dual cruisers, which is a terrible idea. Don't do that. But in terms of fire control, it's got enough fires to jostle. It can beat the Chicago, it can beat the Lexingtons, and it can tie with the Enterprises. That's the important thing. For a limited period of time, you can tie with the Enterprise. So can your dive bombers, because you don't have to approach in the right angle, like say the elliptical drop of the Enterprise, because the Enterprise was good because it was a BB heavy mat. So if there's a BB heavy mat at tier eight, the three dive bombers could easily one shot or cripple battleships and just go in and drop. You don't touch the destroyers, you don't necessarily touch the cruisers if you know they've got defensive fire. So you just go ahead and drop people. So yeah, it's it's interesting uh, and and how viable it is. See, the Enterprise has a, has a bad cross drop, but at least it could go after the Shards. I mean, that's one of the big differences. Somebody wasn't paying attention. All right, let's move up closer. How good is the Graf Zeppelin AA? It's, it's good. Now, the thing is, the Graf Zeppelin could really, really benefit from manual fire AA. It's got some really good long-range uh, AA guns where manual fire would be fantastic. But, um, oh, this game's pretty close. But, uh, you can't afford it, skill-wise. You need to take Concealment Expert.
I'm anticipating that an edge will clip him. That's how I aimed the drop, so I, I knew I'd still hit him. Oh, jammy get. We're still losing though. Five minutes to go. All right. This is where the Enterprise shines because it's got really, really good endurance with his fire planes. <clears throat> But I'm gonna. Mm, I need to drop the Dunkirk as quickly as possible because those fires will come in and mess with me. No, that's okay. He's done a single plane there. Where's the Nuremberg? That's what I want to know. I mean, the enemy Enterprise should be able to should be locking me out, but he's not. So, yeah. Okay, there he is. I think I need to go over him because this is too short. It's too close. Crap. <sighs> Jammy get it. Can't stop that one. I can stop this one though. Get that? No, I didn't get that freaking. Secondary's ahoy! <clears throat> now what? No, oh, I still lose. I still lose. I need to kill the. I need to kill the Enterprise off. So I've got BFT AFT on. I can't I can't beat that. I can't get there in a minute. <laughs> he's, he's too far away. How did I not strafe him? What? Oh that sucks. I don't have any time, I need to I need to just basically drop him right away.
tried. Not to be. <clears throat> if the battleship didn't die, um, we could have done that. But then again, there was a lot of if this didn't happen, then that could have could have been a big thing. Um, <laughs> so we got seventy three plane kills in a one two one. Uh, Graf Zeppelin. We got 33 dive bomb hits. We got 27 torpedo hits. We killed seven ships. Seven. Uh, we were close to our eighth. We got 23 secondaries. We got a secondary kill. We got a Kraken, Clear Skies, First Blood, um, Confederate, and High Caliber. And if we have a look over here, on the losing team, I had nearly 2,000 base experience. <laughs> okay. I mean, that's that's pretty good. I guess we'll have to make a highlight of this game. Uh, yeah. And, uh, what? 280,000 damage and a million credits. Wow. That's pretty cool. Properly earned. Oh, well. <sighs> we'll need to 